Prime Minister Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim today condemned the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in the strongest terms. He said that the killing which took place in the early hours today in Tehran, Iran, was meant to sabotage ongoing efforts to establish peace in Gaza. Anwar said across social media this was a murder of the heinous kind plainly designed to derail ongoing talks aimed at ending the carnage in Gaza that has claimed over 40,000 lives. Iran's revolutionary guards confirmed the death of Haniyeh hours after he attended a swearing-in ceremony for the country's new president and said it was investigating the killing. Anwar stated that such an action could only occur due to Israel's impunity. He added that Haniyeh's death was a worrying development for suffering Palestinians as it had reduced the chances for a ceasefire. And I think the most important thing is to continue on the on the path of Brother Ismail Haniyeh until we, the Palestinian people, get and achieve their big national goals of freedom and dignity and independence and ending this barbaric uh, behaviors, not only against Palestinians, they have crossed all the lines in Lebanon, in Syria, in Iraq, in Iran, everywhere. This is a message for any, uh, for all Muslims and for all Arabs that uh, uh, he is a target if he is standing up to fight and to struggle for freedom and dignity. And therefore, we have to be united on the path, on the way of Brother Ismail Haniyeh to reach this goal. We will continue to do our best to reject, reject all the brothers here in the, in the state of shock and, and really angry that we are not able and the international community has been just failed us in terms of championing peace and justice and defending the rights and aspirations. And you, you know, especially he was doing the maximum to reach an end of this aggression and to to sign an, a ceasefire uh, so that we can end this aggression against our people. But every time they have always seeked a new uh, excuses to to postpone or to undermine all these attempts. Clearly, uh, Brother Marhum Ismail Haniya has been one of the pillars in the struggle and wanting a, a peaceful resolution to defend the rights of yes. the Palestinian people. But clearly there's yes, a sabotage. Yes. They don't want this to succeed. They don't want the peaceful resolution. I'm sure this is a big loss, not only for the Palestinians, but for the whole Oma and for all free and dignified people around the world.